All right, back with another food blog. Your boy. And season it up. And we're going to cook it in the air fryer. Power XO. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, we're going to use some salmon rub. Season and blend. Trader Joe's. Pretty low. Oh, this is blurry. Pretty low on the sodium. There we go. Only 50 milligrams. We're gonna use some herbal garden spice uh, spice blend. No no salt in this at all. We're gonna use some dill weed. The 21 seasoning salute. No salt in this one either. Salt free. Excuse the blurriness. There we go. And then we have the spicy, organic spicy sesame garlic. This has a little bit of salt, but once again, pretty low, 60 milligrams, pretty low on the salt. So we stay kind of low on the salt, and then we'll add some onion or garlic powder as well. So we'll season those bad boys up, and then I'll show you what it'll look like. And then we're gonna put them in the air fryer. And they're probably at 400 for like 10, 15 minutes. I like them cooked well done, so you can kind of change it up depending on how well you like to cook it. All right, I'll be back. Okay, back. Now it's all seasoned up. I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. Now I kind of just put a little bit of canola oil just to grease the bottom. Now you don't have to, but this I like to do that because it doesn't stick to the pan and it gives the, the salmon a little bit of a extra little crisp and that little bit of oil is not gonna make a big difference you know um, like I said I've been losing weight I've been using canola oil I've been using um, uh, extra virgin olive oil and it doesn't really like you know it's not adding a lot of extra calories to my food but just to give a little coat this is I think a seven quart um, they sell them on Amazon so you can get a lot of these air fryers just about anywhere so I put them in there, nicely packed. All right, just space them out just a little bit. Boom. And then I'll let that cook. Now I do turn them over sometimes, but once again, you don't have to. It'll air fry without you even doing that. And then you just plug it in. I think I need to actually plug this in. So let's do that. Because otherwise we're not gonna get any power here. That didn't work. Oh, wrong plug. There we go. So, set it. I set it to like 385, 390. Uh, set it for about 20 minutes. And then I check it and I hit start. And then it'll run. All right, I'll show you the results when it's done. All right, we are done with the salmon. Looking good. Cooked all the way through. I'll let Stephanie tell you later how good it is. She's my official taste tester. So, yep, cook just the way I want it. All right, we're gonna do some more fish in a little bit. All right. All right, so we got some veggies going. We got asparagus, we got carrots, we got some uh, fire, uh, grilled onions from Trader Joe's. I let it simmer in this with some olive oil, stir it around, and then I'll cover it up, let it cook down for a little bit, and then I'll season it, you know, with a little bit, of, you know, a little salt, a little pepper, a little garlic. And I make enough to last several meals so my wife and I can, Stephanie and I can have uh, some variety. So we'll cover that bad boy up. Come back to it later. All right, we got some Chilean sea bass. Really good fish. Got it from Whole Foods. They'll skin it for you. So it's nice and clean on front and back. I'm gonna season it. We're gonna do a five, five, five method. I'll show you that in a little bit. We'll use some parsley flakes. We'll use some Himalayan pink sea salt and some Chesapeake Bay seasoning. All right, we're we'll back with the seasoning results in a bit. All right, we got the uh, Chilean sea bass ready. 
So we get the pot, the pan, you put a little olive oil and some butter, let it get hot. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in for five minutes, let it sear, turn it over for five minutes. That's what you wanna hear, that's the sound you wanna hear. All right, put both pieces in, five minutes. In the meantime, you're letting the oven preheat to 450. So by the time this is done, you do five minutes on, then you flip it over, five minutes, then you're gonna put it in the oven. And I got like a pan in there ready. And then you keep it in there for five minutes and voila, perfection. All right, I'll be back. Okay, we flipped it over. Now we're gonna let it sit five minutes on the other side and then pop it in the oven. All right, be back with the results of that. You can see how brown it is. Mm, mm, mm. All right, about to transfer now. So we're just gonna move. All right, let's try to do this again. I'm gonna transfer this to here. Transfer this to here. And then I'm gonna pour this over it too. And then I'm gonna pop this baby in the oven for five minutes. Five minutes, and there we go. All right, I'll be back with the final plating. All right, final results. We got the Chilean sea bass, we got the veggies, we got the carrots and the asparagus. Found this in Whole Foods, Zevia, zero, zero calorie soda, no calories, no carbs, no sugar. Just carbonated water, citric acid, stevia, leaf extract, natural flavors, and ginger extract. Pretty much that's what's in it. And it's great because I don't crave it like I craved soda in the past, and it, it just satisfies me. Um, it's vegan, gluten-free, um, it's uh, non-GMO certified, caffeine-free. Love it. All right. Uh, I'll post this up soon and enjoy. It was a great, looking forward to having this good, delicious meal and I'll be posting more food videos. All right, see you soon.